welcome to my channel um, today I'm just uh, going to talk about uh, one of the common problems uh, that people face when installing Windows uh, sorry not Windows it's um, Microsoft Excel um, 2013 um, I came across this too but I uh, thought of sharing it because it was a trick I thought of sharing um, um, with you guys as well you know or if you don't go through that process you know and rectify that uh, error um, you won't be able to install your Windows um, sorry microsoft excel 2013 so the error that came up was font cache um, service error you know whether you're trying to install halfway during the installation so it all kept on failing and it's it's an error 1920 service you know probably you guys know if you're watching this video which means you know what i'm talking about so um i put i'll i'll put that error down in my description you know so or even you know just uh, on the screen here uh, so you know what I know, what era I am talking about. So it's it's not that hard. It's it's pretty easy. All you need to do is just follow these steps, and you'll be all right. And that's the only thing you need to do. And then you'll be able to um, install the Microsoft Excel 2013 um, Excel or Microsoft Office, basically, right? So uh, the me first thing you need to do is just you need to uh, search for run. Click on that, open run. So, so, so and that's that's run there. Now you only need to do is just type service. And then hit enter. Now under the service uh, services window, you need to locate uh, Windows font cache um, font cache services. All right. So you need to go all the way down. That's where it's there. and try to locate yep this is the one here so while you're there right click on that say properties now the properties usually you'll find this as disabled but what you need to do is just change it to automatic press apply and then after apply it doesn't mean it's done because it will the service status will show you as um, will be showing you a stop what you need to do is just click, click on start and it'll start running uh, and once that's done, uh, just give it a minute because it'll it'll go through a small process to get it uh, switched on. So once that's done, it says we're running here. Pretty much you have solved the problem. So you can um, happily go ahead with installing um, um, Office 2013. And um, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, later, maybe after you install, you can come back and. Uh, uh, change it back to disable I've just left it as automatic because you know I might install again a few more things and then I just don't want to do every time I want to be there or do something so it's up to you guys you can change it back to where it was or anything like that it won't uh, affect your um, affect the uh, operation of the office 2013 anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, please do like and share my video um, if you guys have any questions please leave it in the comment section if you didn't understand whatever i was going through there um go to the description area all the um everything is explained over there in detail so you can follow that and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um i hope you guys have benefited out of my video so please um uh please do share my video and th thanks a lot for watching guys again um see you guys around later thank you bye bye